Hey guys, I thought I would do a quick tutorial on how to automate transitions between songs from your ProPresenter computer to your Onyx platform. Um, in this case, it's a Windows laptop. Um, and I'll try my best to go through everything so that you, you have no worries um, on your, you know, on being able to do this. This will help your lighting guys to not have to worry about anything. It makes your transitions seamless between with your lights and your ProPresenter slides and it makes life just a lot easier and uh, we did it at church today and had no problems whatsoever and so I'm really excited about it. Um, so you'll need to have... I want to break it down into steps. So the first step is to get both computers talking to each other. In order to do that you will want to connect both of them to the same router. Preferably hardwired but usually the Mac needs a little converter cable to the USB, so USB to Ethernet um, so what we did is we connected the laptop, uh, the um, MacBook, to the router wirelessly, and we connected the this computer uh, with a wire. Uh, we connected them to, to the, our our router, and then um, if you open up something called the MIDI network setup on the MacBook, the MIDI network setup looks it when you first open it up, it'll look like something like this. It'll open up on your Mac, and you will double-click your network setup right there. Okay? So then when you open it up, it will open a window that looks something like this. Um, not exactly, but pretty much the same. Um, what you'll do is you will enable your port. This will be unchecked when you first get there. Go ahead and enable that port 5004. Once you do that, um, you'll need to download something called RTP MIDI on your Windows computer. So to do that, it's pretty simple. Uh, I did a Google search just to make sure I could find it again. RTP MIDI on Google. And that will open up this window here, and you can download right here. That will open up this program here. And when you have both programs running and both computers are connected to the same router, you'll see them in the directory. So you'd click on the other computer and you hit connect. That computer would show up in the right window here as the participants. And once they're both connected, you got you have them talking to each other, and that's the step one of getting everything to work properly. Step two is to send the MIDI cues out from the la uh, when, from the MacBook laptop to the to the um, to the lighting computer. So in order to do that. What you'll need to do is go into your preferences from your um, Pro Presenter. No, I'm not saying Pro Presenter, is that right? Anyways, you go into your preferences um, and you will have, you need to download something called a MIDI module. You can and you can use the demo for free, but it just put a water it puts a watermark on your slides. So you can use it for free to see if it works, and then you can buy it. It's a hundred dollars um, to buy, but it's definitely worth it in order to get your show more seamless and uh, make things a lot easier for everybody. Um, so then what you do is, um, that's, don't worry about the other notes. So once you down get the MIDI module working, then it'll enable you to uh, add media cues. And I'll show you something that looks like it. This, it's not the communication module, but it's something similar. You would right click your slide and you would add cue. I don't think you would add a media cue, but You'd add uh, something similar to like, a, it would be like a MIDI cue, not necessarily the communications MIDI cue, but a MIDI cue will be enabled. You, when you first, if you don't have the MIDI module, it'll be grayed out and you won't be able to use it. Once you open that up, you'll get another window that looks some, something like this. This will allow you to send, okay, so you said MIDI note on, um, and this is actually too simple, so I wrote something similar down here. You'll have channel one, you want to leave it at channel one, and you want to say start your note from zero or one, whatever you want. One, two, three, four, leave your intensity at one. And you so from your first um, from your pre, from your uh, video to your first song, let's say, you say, okay, let's do channel, let's do note, let's do note zero. So that's note zero right there. Um then what you do is is this is where you go to your Onyx program, and I'm going to show you what to do 
at this point. So you're going to make a blank queue right here. So I'm just going to hit record and hit hit one of my banks. And I'm just going to say, okay, um, <clears throat> let's do MIDI, MIDI example. Just record a queue here. And I'm going to go active queue list only. So now we have this blank queue. And we're going to add edit mode, add macro, um, and select, we're going to select, okay, this is going to be a MIDI macro. And when you send out, when you click on that slide after you put that note in there, you'll see it come up here in the left screen. You're going to say, okay, I want this to, um, I want it to activate a certain cue. So let's say we wanted to activate um, let's find a song, Reckless Love, all right? Now, so this is says, okay, this is going to cause it to go. It's going to cause it to go. Great. And you'll see here. So if the, so you have you see on your um, MacBook you'll have note on, so say note on, okay, channel. So channel one, Knit data from one to one. If you, if the note was one, that's going to come through data one, and then this one, I just say zero to one twenty seven. So go all the way to the bottom. So basically anything between that and, and data two section. Um, oops. Uh, sorry. Okay. All right. So there we go. We're going to hit apply. And now um, this is going to cause Reckless Love to start as soon as that person clicks on that slide. Um, every time that, that note is pressed, it'll send this out and it'll cause this Reckless Love Xmas uh, to, to start up. Um, and so when, when you start, and then you want to, then you, what you want to do is you want to double click or right click that and open up your uh, options list here you want to say start a boot active that way when you start up the computer see this needs needs to start running at some point for the MIDI queue to work once you release it after you release it uh, even once you release the queue once this MIDI queue is um, uh, ready to go once you activate the queue f uh, the first time um, then that MIDI is in the in the files, and uh, whenever that note is pressed, it will send the uh, situation out to for it to go to reckless uh, to whatever that song cue that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and remove delete this cue. Now you know how to do that. So you'll do that for every song that you want it to go through. Um, so what I did was is I have um, eight different MIDI tran transitions. So each one. So select it, right? Um, so from so I have the song list here, and so th this is Amazing Grace. I have that ready on MIDI transition one, and MIDI transition one says, okay, note channel one, um, channel one, note one to one, and uh, data two zero to one twenty seven activates Amazing Grace. And when Amazing Grace starts, um, it allows, it says, okay, release the pre-service. So each song that I have releases the song before it uh, with a macro. And um, so what I'm going to do is every single song, every time that um, I'm going to change these these macros every service so that it allows um, It'll um, it'll go to different songs um, based on our set list for the for on Sunday. Um, I also would encourage you to create another macro called MIDI on and off. I haven't actually tested this yet, but I I think it works. MIDI on and off, and basically you add a macro. Um, let's see. If, let's just do it again, just so we can.
um, disable and enable. So enable, apply. So basically, you can just cycle through this queue and enable and or disable um, that queue. So that's how you do MIDI macro transitions. Um, download RTP MIDI. Download MIDI. Get the MIDI module working. Connect them. Make them make them uh, talk to each other, and um, get that working. Um, another thing is, um, yeah, just make sure you have it auto start in the beginning. Otherwise, nothing. They won't work. And you can release them after, and. Um, just make sure that um, that yeah that 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 works. Um, you can also delete the um, MIDI maps as well. Um, I'm not going to go in there just because I I'm really I don't know very much about that. So um, any other comments would be great if you want to like to leave them. Um, but that's how uh, everything works seamlessly uh, for our church service with the different transitions we are able to go through them and not have to touch anything for for these different um, um, cue lists uh, thanks so much